let's make the ooeyest, gooeyest, fattest, fluffiest cinnamon rolls you've ever had. So the key to these cinnamon rolls is the sweet dough. This is some bread flour that we're using, but we also can use all-purpose flour if that's all you have. And we're gonna mix that together with our instant yeast and our warm milk. And then once that's mixed together, we're gonna start adding in the softened butter, the sugar, and the rest of the flour and mix that in with some eggs. This is gonna be a really wet and sticky dough at first, as you can see, but as we start adding in more of the flour and it continues to mix, it will come together. I'm also adding in the corn syrup, which is going to keep these rolls very, very soft and moist for days, not that they will last that long. So this is what it looks like after five minutes of mixing, still very wet. This is what it looks like after 20 minutes of mixing. I'm gonna do the window pane test, which is where you take a piece and if you can stretch it very thin while it's still like holding together and very thin in the center, that means your dough is ready. Place it into a bowl and then cover it with a cloth and put it into an oven with a proofing setting or just like a really warm spot around 80 degrees for about an hour and a half and let that rise until it's doubled. While it's rising, I'm gonna go ahead and make this cinnamon sugar filling. This is very simple, some softened butter with brown sugar. And we're going to roll out our dough into a rectangle. This is gonna be about 18 inches long and about eight inches tall. So uh, yeah, about that size, it doesn't have to be exact. Now I'm gonna spread out the filling onto the center, leaving the very top edge clear, and I'm gonna wet it with a little bit of water so that the rolls stay rolled up and don't like totally come apart. If they do, it's fine. Now we're gonna roll it up. Try to keep this nice and tight so that your cinnamon buns don't like come unrolled during the proofing process. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I am just a perfectionist. Now, speaking of perfectionism, I'm using my 18 inch ruler and marking out each cinnamon roll to one and a half inches and using dental floss to make that perfect cinnamon swirl. Look how pretty these are. And these are going to double in size once again. Put them in your pan. I use two pans. You can put 12 or six, whatever your pan can hold. Cover with plastic wrap and let them proof for another 90 minutes and look how fluffy. You see all those bubbles in the swirl? That's from the proofing. The secret to the super soft gooey cinnamon rolls is adding a little bit of cream to the bottom of the pan right before baking. This cream absorbs into the cinnamon rolls and makes them super soft and gooey and like so, so yummy. Now we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting. We're gonna mix up our softened cream cheese with our softened butter, some vanilla, and a little bit of powdered sugar. And this just makes a very like soft, like gooey frosting. You can use regular cream cheese frosting. It'll be a little bit sweeter, but I really like this type of frosting. We're gonna smooth that onto the warm cinnamon rolls. It's gonna melt in all of those nooks and crannies. And let me tell you, these cinnamon rolls are the very best cinnamon rolls recipe you will ever try. Trust me, I ate four and now I have a stomach ache. Recipe on sugargeekshow.com.